Welcome to part two in our mini series brought to you by Northwest Cairn Terriers, a small breeder based in Washington State. In this episode, we're going to talk about potty training. So part of this is luck and part of this is just patience and setting up your puppy for success. I've had puppies that were really difficult to potty train and puppies that were extremely easy to potty train and we use the exact same method. The main thing is, if you're consistent over time, your puppy will become a potty training pro. Sometimes it just takes a little longer than others. Keep your crate near the door. This will make it easier for you to bring your puppy outside early in the morning or late at night. When they've just woke up, you can bring them straight outside. Keep your meal times consistent so that you can predict potty breaks more easily. If you know what time of day your dog is going to eat, you can more easily predict when they're going to have to go. Don't change the rules. Make sure that you start off with the same expectations that you want your puppy to maintain over time. That way they won't be confused about what you want. We've also had many puppy owners put bells on their door so that their puppies can ring them when they need to go. Make sure you don't use your crate as a punishment. It should be a nice place to relax and take a nap for your dog. Over time, they'll learn when bedtime is and they'll even put themselves in their crate because they like it as a nice comforting den. You might have to skip bedding for a while with Cairn Terrier puppies because what we've found is that if the bedding is absorbent in their crate, they become confused as to making messes in there or not. Make sure that the crate is the right size so that the puppy can't use half the crate to potty in and the other half to sleep in. It needs to be just big enough for your puppy to stand up in and lay down. Be strong. I know it's hard to leave your puppy in a crate overnight, but they won't cry for very long. Most Cairns don't cry at all, but if they do cry, they'll usually stop within a half hour. Turn the lights off, put a blanket over their crate, and just ignore them. If you can get through this phase, you'll be set. How long can your puppy hold it? The answer is about one hour for every month of age. Take their dinner away from them around 5 or 6 p.m., give them one final potty break around 10 p.m., and then let them sleep in their crate until about 7 in the morning. Remember, your puppy is going to need potty breaks after naps, eating, playing, or any time your puppy loses interest in you or their toys and starts sniffing around. I still remember the first Karen we potty trained, and I had a great aha moment when she really turned a corner when I started praising her more outside. I was catching her in the act in the house, and then I was praising her outside, but it wasn't until I used an excited voice and told her what a good dog she was every time she made the slightest effort outside that she really tried to go outside all the time. One common problem potty training Cairns is as soon as you go outside, they just want to play. It's so exciting outside, and there's lots of things to smell and look at. Well, if you just keep walking, I often just walk the perimeter of my yard. After several laps, they have to go. It seems like a long time, but when you actually watch the clock, within 10 to 15 minutes, the puppy will generally go. Dogs don't always understand that your whole house is their whole house. That's why crate training works so well. Try to start with one small room within your house and then gradually build on that until they understand that your entire home is also their home and should not be pottied in. Don't use wee pads. When your puppy comes home, they already have an idea of a place to sleep and eat versus a place to go to the bathroom. When you use wee pads in your house, you're just teaching your dog to be confused about where it's okay to go to the bathroom and where it isn't. It's not uncommon for Cairn Terriers to live to 15 plus years, so even if your puppy's a little slow on learning to potty train, it will be well worth the investment. Cairns make awesome pets in the house. We have several that we can leave on the couch overnight, and we trust them not to get into things or to make messes. They really are awesome dogs. Thanks again, and we'll see you next week.